Hi, I'm Gary King, the Weatherhead University Professor at Harvard University and Director of the Institute for Quantitative Social Science and co-founder of Perusal. My co-founders and I are all teachers and researchers. In the average classroom, if the instructor says do the reading, only 20 to 30% of students do the reading. The instructor can make you do the reading with a quiz, but everyone hates quizzes. Students hate quizzes, because there's points off for gotcha questions, because they didn't pay attention to the bottom of what it said on page 12. Uh, instructors hate putting time in to create quizzes. And then of course, then the students complain and, and, and we don't like that. So how else do you get students to do the reading? That's what we looked for. We looked for a solution to this problem. So we have three, three parts to our mission. First, we aim to change the nature of reading from the traditional solitary experience to an engaging and collective experience. Second, we aim to change education. So all students do the reading, come to class prepared, and are motivated to do more because they care about the content. And we aim to advance behavioral science and, and AI research in the service of advancing education to help students and educators and researchers and society at large. When we download or stream a song, we pay a dollar or whatever for it. If we choose to go to a concert, we pay 50 or 100 times more than the, than, the, than the download. Why is that? The fidelity of the music isn't any better. Actually, it's a lot worse. We do it because it's an engaging collective experience. In sociology, they have a name for this. They call it collective effervescence. Most of us humans just enjoy being part of something bigger. We long for it. We really want it. Reading has always been a solitary experience. You do it by yourself with very few social motivations. We aim to change that. We aim to make perusal the first social e-reader. We're going to use the students' intrinsic social motivations um, along with some novel technology we developed to create this collective engaging experience for students outside the classroom to match what's supposed to be inside the classroom. Okay, so before perusal, I would walk into class and I would say, any questions? And of course, you know what the answer is, right? They all have questions, but they never actually say anything. Nobody's interested in breaking the ice. They've just marched across campus. They put their book bag down, they take off their coat, they sit down, they're sort of tired. They're preparing to be entertained. And we say any questions and they say nothing, a blank stare. But as instructors, we need them to ask questions because it, it helps us, it helps me when they ask questions because I know the level that they're at. I know that I can address things that they're interested in. I can start a conversation going. It's much easier to make sure that they're learning rather than merely me teaching if they can actually ask questions. So how do you get this to happen? So first you go to perusal.com. You go there as the instructor, 15 minutes, you would give us 15 minutes and you set up your class for the entire semester. That's all the effort as an instructor that you have to put in. Everything else happens automatically. Next, what you do is you take anything that you have the rights to, like articles and problem sets and uh, your syllabus and, and uh, open educational resources, web page, pages, code, Word documents, anything that you have that you want to assign students, you drag and drop it into perusal. It just takes a, just takes a few seconds. And then, of course, there's books or anything under copyright, and Perusal um, arranges so students can pay directly um, uh, on the Perusal site for that. Or if you prefer, um, they can pay at the bookstore, and the bookstore will give them a code, and then they go to the Perusal and they type the code in. Uh, students usually pay basically the same price for the materials as they would elsewhere, and it's often less because only the digital version is needed, and there's no print version. And also, there's no charge for the Perusal platform. They go to perusal.com, they see what looks like an e-reader. Only down the left-hand side, they can see the faces of their classmates. You say, uh, read chapters, chapters three and four, but also add a few annotations to the chapter. And students respond, uh, you know, they annotate things, and then they respond in threads to other people's annotations, Facebook style. If you don't understand, highlight the phrase and say, I don't understand. If another student comes along and gives, um, gives an answer and says, oh, I think it's this, and they're wrong, what happens? Well, actually, we, you could, if you want, go in and correct that as the instructor. But better is to leave them alone and to not even pay attention because we have it all handled automatically. This is how it works. What happens is one person answers if it's wrong, all the other students will have social motivations to correct the original student. That's how perusal is set up. 
And then they're likely to get to the right answer. They won't necessarily, but they're much more likely to get to the right answer. And if that happens, our research shows that first of all, they're likely to get there. But second of all, if they do, they're much more likely to remember it essentially forever. Our specialized algorithms then ensure a welcoming and engaging and participatory environment for students without your effort. With Perusall, instead of 20 to 30% of the students doing the reading, 90% of the students will do the reading. We tune Perusall to student motivations. And you can think of two, student mo two types of motivations for students. First is intrinsic social and content motivations. Students want to be there because they want to learn the content and because their friends are there too. Perusal also uses uh, not only those intrinsic social and content motivations, but the second is uh, extrinsic motivations. That is, we can grade them based upon the quality of their annotations and other participation on the platform automatically, better than an instructor could, because frankly, you would die of boredom coding 20,000 annotations. And we can grade uh, based upon the quality, not only of the annotations, but, but of the engagement. We can send the, the grades back to your learning management system if, if you have it. So the idea of perusal technology is that it is designed to get every student 100% on their perusal engagement score. And if they're not doing that, we'll send them special little timed uh, nudges, which we've studied in lots of randomized experiments, to, to get them to do the work. So a half an hour before I walk into class, I push the student confusion report button and print out one piece of paper. And I walk into class with that one piece of paper. And I say, hey, there's three things of interest that, that you know, three things that you found of interest in last week's reading. And by the way, Allison, you had a great point about the first one. Can you remind us what that was? And if that doesn't spark a conversation, I say, Tamara, you had a really good response to Allison's point. Can you remind us what that was? And that almost always gets, gets a good conversation going. And it creates this inviting participatory atmosphere and most importantly, a great conversation around the content. So the result is all students come to class prepared. And I'll tell you from personal experience that preparation has really great consequences for us as instructors. Classroom interactions are at a much higher level. You'll, you'll be able to teach at the appropriate speed. And in my experience anyway, I can teach at a higher level right at the beginning and I can go through the material much faster because I know when I'm going fast and when I'm going slow, what it is relative to what they are prepared for because I know how prepared they are. Because students are engaged outside the classroom, they look forward to class and enjoy it more. Frankly, your teaching will improve and your teaching evaluations are likely to improve too.